Sam A. Scribner from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Sam A. Scribner, born 1859, died 1941, was an American circus and burlesque impresario of the late 19th century and early 20th century. He operated the Columbia Amusement Company, presenting 40 or more family entertainment burlesque shows simultaneously in theatres throughout the Northeast and Midwest of the United States. Section 1. Biography. Part 1. Early Years. Samuel A. Scribner, son of Alexander St. James Scribner and Cynthia Cheeseborough Scribner, was born on the 18th of August, 1859, near Brookville, Pennsylvania, the county seat of Jefferson County. Serving as a tuba player in the village band, Scribner spent his whole life in show business. In the summer of 1879, he joined a small circus called, rather grandly, Rogers and Campbell United Aggregation and grabbed Equestriculum Hippo Comique. For nearly 20 years he worked his way up the ranks of various circuses, travelling by mule train six days a week, six months a year. By 1892 he partnered with Neil Smith to operate Scribner and Smith's all-new enormous combined shows. During the winter months he acted in and produced melodramas in various theatre companies in the United States and Canada. In the late 1890s, he sold his circus to Barnum and Bailey and switched to burlesque. Section 1, Part 2 Columbia Amusement In 1902, Scribner and his partner, John Herbert Mack, formed the Columbia Amusement Company, also known as the Columbia Wheel or Eastern Wheel. With a season running from fall to spring, Columbia would present 40 or more separate shows in 40 different theatres. Each week, each show would travel from one theatre to the next, rotating around the American Northeast and Midwest like 40 spokes on a great wheel. On the 3rd of January 1910, the company opened its flagship theatre in Times Square on the northeast corner of 7th Avenue and 47th Street, in its time, Columbia Amusement ruled American burlesque, and Scribner, its imperious owner, was determined to make burlesque both clean and profitable. In 1913, the Eastern Wheel and rival West Wheel were consolidated into the Columbia Amusement Company, headed by Scribner and Isidore Herc. The combined operation put on fairly clean shows, as had the Western Wheel. One of Scribner's early hires at Columbia was Will Rogers. In 1904, Rogers was working on the roof of Willie Hammerstein's theatre in New York. Scribner hired him away, raising his salary from $150 to $250 per week. On the 3rd of January 1925, in anticipation of the 15th anniversary gala of the Columbia Theatre in New York, Rogers sent a telegram stating, I will be there Wednesday night for you to do an act. Announce the acts, take tickets or sweep out for you. I said for you, Sam Scribner. Section 1, Part 3, Family Life. Scribner married Henrietta Cooper on April the 4th, 1907 in New York City. They had three children. Dorothy Scribner, born 1910, died 1977. Samuel Alexander Scribner, born 1913, died 2003. And John Herbert Mack Scribner, born 1917, died 2009. Peter Scribner, the son of Samuel Alexander Scribner, is his grandson.
This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at http semicolon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.